Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. Hey guys, what's happening? How's everybody? All good? Hi, Anubhav. Hello, Lucky Adav. Hi, Aradhya. Hitat, welcome back. Jyoti, Paramesh, Sanjay, Sneha, Satyendra. Super happy to see all of you guys. Hello, Vibhava. How are you? So guys, thanks a lot for joining. What are we going to do? We are doing a mind map session today on this chapter which we covered. Rulers and buildings. Remember the tombs, right? <clears throat> Remember the, you know, the temples. So the chapter is all about rulers and buildings. Let us do a quick revision and I will also show you a, a mind map to help you remember it. Yeah. Cool. So what is happening? Hi Sarvang. I'm sorry Neha. <laughs> because I didn't know right. So I just took your registered name. Let's move on. So guys, uh, Vedanta Young Wonders, a quick word about the channel. I don't know. I think a few are new to the channel. This channel is all about 6th, 7th and 8th graders. What do we cover? Academic as well as non-academic. Academically, mathematics, science, social and English. Entire year syllabus. Teachers are simply amazing. They make it simple and fun for you. And non-academically, what do we have? You will see that uh, you know, as a student, whatever you aspire, whatever you dream about, whatever you look for, you will see those kind of content. Say for example, you want to know a lot about stuff like uh, science fiction. You want to learn how to create, create games through coding. You want to know a lot about space. Right? So you will have series on all this stuff. Name it, you have it. So don't forget to subscribe. You are in a perfect place to learn. Hi, Saur. Welcome back. Hitat, I know that, but even if there is one or two people who are new, we'll have to make sure that they understand about the channel, right? Okay, so I hope you have subscribed, didn't you? When you subscribe, click the bell icon. Riddle time. Last session, I gave a riddle. I'm light as a feather, yet the song strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? Come on, come on, come on. Neha, my name is Sundar. I teach social studies and right now we are doing a mind map session on the chapter rulers and buildings. Clear? Okay. Anubhav, please put it somewhere. If there is a doubt, please put it, put hashtag Shiksha and put your doubt. We will solve it. Okay. Sanjeev wants age, age, age means what? You can't hold age here. Five minutes. What is this? You can hold one age for 365 days, right? So age is the wrong answer. The right answer is yes, breath, air, both are fine. Your breath is the right answer. You can't hold it. It's light as feather, but you can't hold it even for five minutes. Who are the first few people to answer this right? The moment I gave this riddle, top four people, Joel, Prasida, Pihu and Vidit. Good job done. Keep it up. Hi Satyendra, I'm fine. Paramesh, we will do it after completing the syllabus. Okay, Mega Mentees. Great job guys, keep it up. That's like my boys and girls. Keep, keep, keep it going. So a great fun fact, you know that? Sheeps, we all know sheeps, right? Sheep, whenever they fall sick, you know what they do? They know how to identify plants 
which contain medicine to cure their illness. Sheep have that ability. So today's fun fact is not just a fun fact, it's an astonishing fact. Sheep are known to self-medicate themselves whenever they are ill, whenever they are sick. They will eat specific plants which can cure their illness. How does that sound? Hey guys, did you like that fact, by the way? Look at that, so, so, you know, that's nature for all of us. All these living things were created so beautifully. In fact, even man will fall under that. Whenever man falls sick, we have the ability to cure our illness by ourselves, but we run after doctors. We run after different people, right? Okay, so let's get into the chapter. <clears throat> Hello Sneha, welcome to Vedanta Young Wonders. Thank you Beta for joining. <clears throat> Quick revision. Guys, in the medieval period, well, okay, tell me this, which is medieval period? It is almost like a thousand years, right? Which is that period? Medieval period. Come on, come on, come on. Let me see. No googling. From here, you should. It should come in a flash. <clears throat> come on, guys. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Medieval period is somewhere between seven fifty to one thousand seven fifty. Almost like a thousand years, right? During that period, all right, uh, rulers built a lot of buildings, private for, for you know for themselves, which is private for even the public. Building constructions like fort, pa you know palaces, tombs, temples, mosques, tanks, etc. What are those constructions? Forts, palaces, tombs, temples, mosques, tanks, etc. Yeah. So, in the 12th century, if you look at it, two major technological developments happened. What kind of developments are they? Two different style of constructions came in. One style is, whenever you see doors or windows, you know, above them you have a beautiful arch. That is one style of construction and that is called arcuate. Arcuate is a type or a style of construction where, alright, in most of the forts and all you can see, even, you know, uh, you watch red fort, right? Many forts, you look at it, you will see that arcuate type of construction. Above the doors or windows, you will have that arch. You see right there on the picture? That form of architecture is called arcuate. So, what can, alright, so when it comes to this kind of construction, limestone cement was increasingly used. What was that? Limestone cement. Cool? <coughs> Great. Now, the Mughals adopted a new Mughal empire when they came in from probably the end of 12th century and 13th century. They adopted a new style of architecture. They called it as trebiate or corbelled. Trebiate or corbelled. <coughs> Example, all right, you, you look at Agra, Fatehpur Sikri and Delhi, these kind of buildings will be there. You see right now in the picture, they followed a new style, you know, in between there will be a gap and surrounded by the big thing. That's called trebiate or corbel. So similarly, temples and mosques, kings built them to demonstrate their might, their power. So now you know what is, you know, uh, arcuate, you know what is trebiate, right? Now coming to temples and mosques, they were, some, they were built to, for the king to demonstrate their power and might. They wanted to leave a legacy. People should speak that this king was like a god. And you do, you know, you know what, when it comes to our India, most of our wealth was stored inside temples. That's why any invasion was targeting temples. Yeah? 
अनुभव देर इज नो लैक बेटा आई थिंक देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम योर एंड ओके so the most look at that construction guys from taken from you know bottom at the top the most prolific builder among mughals we all know shah jahan he built the red fort right jama masjid taj mahal all three are known as what do you call wonders wonderful monuments right so you know if you look at it it had indian style and persian style of architecture and assimilation a combination of indian style and persian style of architecture so remember among the mogal kings shah jahan was noticeable when it comes to building constructions red fort jama masjid taj mahal everything yes guys are you following me till this give me a yo if you are following me it's pretty simple i have not given you much of uh, too many things to remember pihu i am awesome beta how are you congrats for the homework riddle <clears throat> okay awesome great till this are you clear let me move on i'm going to show the mind map in a few minutes shah jahan was powerful not as powerful as you know i would say akbar the way because of the way he didn't have that charisma or likeness from the people akbar was loved by everyone okay hello anita sorry i didn't see that so guys this is the time when all your exams are going to come or you think about how to fast track my preparation how should i you know can i have some help preparing the entire syllabus vedantu is here to help you you know what we make you feel learning see as i take, took you through the session now till for the last 5 10 minutes you are imagining terms as i was speaking you are imagining visualizing red fort as i was talking <clears throat> and you were imagining uh, temples and mosques with wealth did you not do that tell me that sir yes 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 is it not agree or not were you not visualizing what i said waiting waiting that i yes agree that's the power of storytelling see as it's uh, not just in sst all right even for math even for science you should be able to story tell anything any new thing algebra can be beautifully story told you can even story tell uh, stuff like any 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 chapter not just max anything so when you do that people you, as students you will start liking it you will not forget because you will visualize clear so at vedantu guys we make sure all your doubts are solved we our approach to teaching is so different that you will remember everything so well we make you write a lot of assignments the more you write you more you remember exam fear that helps you forget answers in an exam hall the more exams you write the more tests you write that fear just goes off we have packaged everything beautifully many at times i have seen students who do not know how to prepare time table the right way so we give you revision plan as well so all these things put together guys welcome to vedantu's live and interactive course what is so special about this you will see all your doubts are solved number 1 you become so strong and confident as a student that matters right so you look at uh, you know any student say the one that are right there on the screen you should enjoy learning that's a sign of someone who is enjoying learning right just giving an example you should feel and enjoy what you're learning the moment you know that you have understood the moment you know that you can apply it in life daily life you will start enjoying it agree whatever is taught to you the moment you know you have understood it very clearly you know you can apply it in your daily life you will start liking studying 
Yes or no? This is what we try to do at Vedanta. So all the best guys, please make use of this subscription. In this subscription, we give you live classes with such amazing teachers. Only two words. Learning will be simple. Learning will be fun. Only two things. We cover entire syllabus fast tracked. We help you prepare very fast, fast tracked preparation. And we entire syllabus, we give you a lot of notes and we allow you to download everything. Wow. Doubts, as I said, zero doubts in your mind. All the doubts will be solved inside the class. See, when all doubts are solved, everything is simple, everything is fun and lovable. What more you want? All right. So the more assignments you write, you will never forget it later on also. The more tests you write, you will never have exam fear. You will never forget things in an exam hall. Right. And on top of these guys, great Saurabh. Great, great. Thousands of micro courses. Come on, for every small, small concept, one course. Yeah. So, all the best. Make use of this amazing opportunity, guys. Grade 6, 7, 8 crash course. Full syllabus. Right? So all you have to do is, there is a link that will be pasted in your description box. Click on that link guys. Come on, come on. <clears throat> Great Aradhya, don't worry. Come on. That's what we are here for. Satyendra in February. Great, great, great. Once you type, you know, there will be a link pasted in your description. Click on the link. Type your grade and your board. All right, so then you will see this page. You see two types of subscription. One is called light, the other is classic. Guys, what do we do? We help you become very clear. Learning will be made simple, fun. We give a lot of tests, assignments. Doubts will be solved inside the class in light. Same thing, online classes, unlimited classes with our teachers. You will give a given test. You will be given test assignments. Doubts will be classed inside the class. Doubts will be solved. Doubts will also be solved outside the class through a mobile app. And that is classic. That's the only difference. Look at that. 1,600 rupees, 6 subjects. Math, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, English, Social. 6 subjects, 1,600. Wow. What more you want, guys? And then you see an option called Apply Coupon. Here at the bottom, click on Apply Coupon. Type SRPRO. Even that 1,600 becomes 1,440 for light subscription. Similarly, a 2,000 rupee course becomes 1,800 when you click on apply coupon and type SRPRO. All the best guys. The next batch is starting on 14th of Feb. The link will be pasted in the description box. Click on that. Type your grade and board. Choose which one you want. The coupon code as I said is SRPRO. Hello, Samkita. Welcome back. Long, long time. Yes. <clears throat> okay, guys. Here it is. Thank you, Pihu. Here it is. The mind map for rulers and buildings. There are only five simple subsets. One is you need to know about region and empire. All right. So, because of large empires, different regions came under similar rule, right? And all the are in, when when an empire, when a, any multiple regions are under the same empire, the constructions were very similar. This is number one. Number two, when it comes to engineering skills and constructions, Mughals were amazing. Between seventh and tenth centuries, a lot of both arcuate and trabeate or corbel style of design came in. When you know the Mughals came in, and when it comes to temples, mosques, and ta you know tanks, typically they were built to demonstrate power. And all these temples were destroyed because I said any invasion they will target temples because that is where all the wealth lies. If you destroy a temple, that means you are telling that you have taken over that place itself, the you know the region itself. 
Now, when it comes to garden, tombs and forts, guys, this is something. Babar, we all know the Chayarbak style of construction, right? You will see kind of a riverfront kind of an option. All right, you look at uh, multiple places. Babar got Chaherbagh, that type of construction constructed in Kabul. Akbar got the same constructed in Kashmir, Agra and Delhi. Shah Jahan adapted the riverfront garden. Similar in near Taj Mahal. You go to Taj Mahal, you will see that option, you know, that style of construction. Yes? <clears throat> Guys, are you clear till this? Five things. So, what happened to different regions when everything was annexed as one em um, empire? All right. Two, how about the engineering skills of multiple rulers? Types of styles of constructions, carquate and trebiate. Building, when it comes to temples, mosques and tanks, what were they built for? And why were temples destroyed? And along with that, you should also know about gardens, tombs and forts, especially Chehrbag type of style of construction. Hello, Shuju. Hi. Clear? Give me a yo if you guys are clear, then I'm going to get into a mentee. <clears throat> Thank you. Great, great, great. Everyone. Guys, hit the like button and let me know you liked it before I get into a mentee. I would want to see if everyone has understood it. Simple five concepts. You See, I am showing the mind map to help you remember. As simple as that. The moment you know the flow, you can always expand on it. And mind maps help you do exactly that. It is visual, it is colorful, it is organized. That is why it is called as a graphic organizer. Okay, awesome. Time for a mentee. Guys, I want you to, all of you to open a separate browser window. Type www.menti.com. M-E-N-T-I. Menti.com. And type the code 10694560. So, once again, I repeat, open your browser. Go to the address bar. Type www.menti.com. Ti.com, menti.com, and it will say please enter the code. Type this code 10694560. <clears throat> what are you telling me? It is the right code, guys. Come on, Tanme. One zero six nine four five six zero. Guys, fast, very slow. Come on, come on, come on. Not wait for more than thirty seconds max. Dinesh, don't hurry like this, beta. We will start now. 15 seconds, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Phone a pad, I'm awesome. Thank you. Right, last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. First question on your screens now. And the question is Dash are safe, protected, and grandiose places of rest. 
in this world what are the places where people are late to rest gateway stands storms hall gateway stands storms and hall how many of you chose storms option c guys places where people are late to rest i so clearly said 36 of you got this right one question done lead about says mahi sampurna suhana snehitan bhavesh top 5 srinand hitarth hitesh saksham and season 4 6 7 8 9 10 Question number two on your screens now. So second question. This was a place for ritual worship where only king, his immediate family and priests can get in. What is that place called? Shikara, Garbhagriha, Superstructure, Pietra Dura. This was the place for ritual worship where only the king, his immediate family and priests gathered. Garbhagriha, it is called as Garbhagriha. 44 of you got this right, so let me see the leaderboard now. Mahi. Wow, still at the top. Wow, keep it up. Followed by Sampurna, Snehit, Bhavesh, Hitar, top 5. Suhana, Srinan, Hitesh, Amarnath, and Swara. Amarnath, you are in class 5. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> question number 3, 2 more to go. Third question popping onto your screens now. The main characteristic of the Indus Valley Civilization. What was that? Guys, whenever we remember him, Indus Valley Civilization, what do you remember? Pukka houses, drainage system, town planning, well laid out roads. <clears throat> People were amazed when they, you know, excavated and found, uh, understood, learned about the Indus Valley system. One thing was very, very much there. How many of you chose option B, drainage system? Drainage system is the right answer, guys. Indus Valley Civilization, we all need to... Typically, at that time itself, so beautifully constructed, planned drainage system was there. How many thousands of years ago, right? So, Bavesh... Looks like Bavesh at the top. Followed by Hitesh, Amarnath, Sutta and Pratima. High five, beta. Alan, Shivanshu, Pingu... Chaitra and Rajeshwari, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what? Question number 4 guys, all of you. Get to the edge of your seats, just one more question to go. Here it is. Who built Agra Fort? Come on, this is a simple question. Babar, Akbar, Jahangir, Humayun. Who built the Agra Fort? <coughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Get. Akbar. Super. Babesh went down. Uh oh. Followed by Amarnath, Pratima, Chaitra, Rajeshwari, and Vishwanath. Vishwad, sorry. Top 5. Joel, Suhana, Bhavesh, Saksham and season 4. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Final one. Are you guys ready? Come on. Guys, here we go. Dash is a part of a building above the ground floor. Above the ground floor you have something and that is called what? That's called a superstructure, Pietra Dura, Gopuram, Mandapa. Above the ground floor. You call that as something. 
we covered all these things when we were dealing with the chapter time is running so how many of you say this it is called superstructure option a rock stars amazing <clears throat> who's going to win amarnath pratima is winning last minute wow 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 great job pratima congratulations beta keep it up i'll put your name in the telegram group great job amarnath rajeshwari pius Oh, I I'm not able to see Uttarakhand. Go go, Shub, go go, Jason, season four, Shivanshu. Every one of you in the leaderboard. My kudos to every one of you guys. Keep it up. Amazing job done. So, did you enjoy the session, guys? By the way, Vedantu uh, season two is here. I don't know how many of you have already got yourself nominated. Perfect time. See, guys, what more you need? You need a platform. where thousands of students can know about you where thousands of parents can know about you thousands of people can know about you you have a skill showcase that skill all right so great platform all you have to do is whatever you're good at it could be dancing creativity singing open mic musical instruments arts and crafts whatever it is please record your video of your performance maximum 3 minutes share it as a youtube link with us right so how do you do that go to courses.vedantu.com/vgt courses.vedantu.com/vgt look at the first prize laptop second prize tablets third prize headphones backpacks mugs vedantu merchandise so many and everyone will get a certificate vedantu subscription as well all the best guys all the best everyone come on looking forward now riddle for today hi deepika pehu it's okay beta now you are in 17th very soon you will get below 10 very soon you can come to the top of the leaderboard as well what goes through cities and fields but it never moves something goes through cities and fields but never moves okay guys we have a wonderful telegram group as i said all you know recognitions updates everything is given in the telegram group for students so join our telegram group all you have to do is like the way you type menti.com Get into your browser. Type t. dot m e slash vedantu junior. Follow the instructions. Get connected with our Telegram group. Looking forward. So, guys, I hope you like the session and you are pretty clear about it. It was simple, but yeah, those five points on the mind map. Don't forget them. Hit the like button and let me know you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Whenever you subscribe, enable the bell icon, guys. Thanks a lot guys thank you so much for watching i will meet you in the next session until then this is myself sundar abhinandan saying tata bye bye catch up